हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून वेलकम टू द चैनल क्लाउड डेवाप्स विथ आसिम और टुडे वी विल बी सीइंग द इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ पोस्ट गेट स्क्वेल ऑन द रिमोट सर्वर एंड एक्सेसिंग थ्रू योर लैपटॉप ग्लोबली ओके और का एजेंडा इज टू इंस्टॉल पोस्ट गेट एसक्यूएल ऑन रिमोट सर्वर द होस्टिंग विल बी यूजिंग ए डब्ल्यू एस ओके सो ही इज द ब्लॉग वेयर यू कैन फॉलो अप द लिंक्स डिटेल्स ऑफ दिस लिंक विल बी प्रोवाइड इन डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन फॉलो अप फॉर द so if you come uh, just come to this blog you'll be seeing that was the step required for the installation of poch sql okay this is a detail what the environment required so for poch sql we are taking environment uh, operating system as ubuntu okay ubuntu image we will taking from the aws and that is 22.4 lts uh, this is a stable version of uh, ubuntu uh, the jammy and uh, arm architecture will be 64 uh, which is the latest release Uh, okay this is the details of postgres sql is often postgres is open source relational uh, database management system uh, to provide powerful reliable extensive platform for store uh, uh, data storage and management okay uh, this is a pg admin uh, application client application which will be using in this tutorial uh, to access uh, to access the data uh, server database uh, through uh, from your laptop okay you can access globally and what are the steps required uh, for the postgres in database installation okay so what we will do we will go uh, first to the postgres sql official website uh, then we will select uh, if you go here you have to click on the download then we will uh, select as linux operating system then uh, in the linux operating system we'll be using ubuntu so i'll be selecting ubuntu uh, then it will take to the page the instruction page okay this is a latest version what we have to use okay now let's go for aws and we will create one instance launch instance uh i'll be mentioning db uh, db to server okay i'll be selecting ubuntu as a image os image Uh, i'll be selecting t2 micro this is a free tag this is a minimum requirement uh, so for based on our requirement we'll be selecting the machine of this one okay i'll be creating one new queue pair i'll be mentioning of db2 uh, key okay i'll be create key pair uh, this is downloaded in the do download folder uh, i'll be selecting anyways i'll be opening ssh port for now and this is fine then i'll be reviewing and launching instance so it's taking time to configure the instance uh, i's already installed so let me go and access this one uh this is the instance which will uh, just launch i'll be connect copying this public ip just wait the state instance is to be running okay it's running now so what i will do i'll be taking a, a application a mobile extram to access i'll be pasting here the ip of my uh, machine i'll be keeping ubuntu as a username i have to keep small ubuntu or uh, 22 port uh, i have to provide the credential key which we have downloaded uh, db2 if you click here it's done uh, just click on this one okay you are into the server now okay the first step what you have to do is you have to switch to the super user root user that is sudo su or uh, then you have to update your system oh, sorry sudo sudo apt update okay the packages are updating now uh, we will go for the installation procedure uh, when i clicking here these are steps which we have to follow so first what we will do i will copy this uh, first step and i will paste here uh, we will go for the next next step uh, we will be copying this step and paste in your terminal at uh, the this the this third step is to do apt update we will be updating our packages after the installation of this uh 
Now here is showing that if you want to install the latest version of Postgres SQL, then you have to copy this command. If you want any specific uh, version, let's say I want Postgres 14, then I'll be using this command instead of this. Okay, so I'll be copying uh, Postgres 15. So let me copy this. Uh, so what I will do, I'll paste it here. Uh, then I'll keep one dash and 15 because my document say uh, is based on the Postgres 15. I'll take you to this one. Okay. The command is apt either you can copy from there or you can copy from here just enter the packages get state uh, installation so let me keep parallel both okay the installation is getting up it's already installed now what we will do we will check uh, whether the service uh, Postgres services status with this is active or no. Okay. Uh -huh. I have to copy this. Paste it here. Okay. So that is up and running. Okay. This is active reason. So what I will do in the next step, uh, the installation is done. I will provide one user and the password for this. So I can access CLI. Okay. What I will do, I will switch to Postgres a uh, user just uh, insert here the command you're switching to postgres from the root to postgres then i'll uh, i'll be copying a uh, psql command i'll be pasting here uh, then what i have to do i have to check the uh, what i'm doing i want to check the connection of this and which port does uh, my postgres is running so it's saying that you are connected to database postgres as a user my user is postgres okay where socket and the port is uh, 5432 the access port for the postgres okay so the next next step what we will do uh, we will check uh, the list of the user assigned okay if you copy here uh, and paste the command you will see that uh, this is the thing okay so it's showing the table form uh, from there if you're stuck in this one then use the command uh, backward slash and the q to exit from the this uh, from this term uh, page okay then I will be using one more command to check uh, how many users do you have do I have uh, just just click see it's showing that I don't have any users currently okay fine then then I have to play fire backward then Q to exit it okay uh, okay what I will do now uh, I'll be creating one user and the password for this okay so the command to create the password uh, to enter uh, the create uh, user and the password is uh, you have to insert here uh, backward pass word I'm creating user as postgres okay just to remember that it's asking me the password uh, to create the password I'll be using postgres as a password okay it will ask me to reconfirm this so it's match now I have created one user and the password okay and what i have to do after creating of this one i have to restart the service okay so restart the survey first what we have to do you have to exit are you going to exit backward and q fine now what i will do i'll copy this one command and be pasting here okay no no sorry i have to exit this also i have to be a root user uh, to restart the service I have restarted the service now it's restarted okay if you're failing to create a user or a password then you can use this command alternate command also right uh, to create the psql you'll you'll be creating user as a uh, user uh, sorry postgres as a user and the password as a postgres okay there's two options provided now you have done with the installation and the user creation password creation now what we will do we will uh, enable our db to access globally okay so what we have to do we have to do some of the configuration file additions uh, to that you have to switch to uh, the root directory okay from there where we have to switch we have to switch to uh, cd etc slash sorry uh, cd etc uh, slash postgres sql then slash 15 slash main this is a path okay this is a path where the configuration files are there you see the five six files right we have to edit this postgres so what i will do i will open with a uh, nano editor 
or the file of this just I will copy and I will paste it here okay uh, then you have to come to down where the connections and authentication is there here uh, the first step what you have to do is uh, you have to go and remove this local host instead of local host you have to provide the star star indicates that it is accessed globally and the second step what you have to do you have to uncomment this line okay and the instructions are here you have to add the star and you have to uncomment and you have to provide this one okay then you have to control press x to exit press y to save it okay so you have done uh, the configuration file you have to do one more configuration by default sql connection is only accepted through localhost okay so you have to provide the access through ip or tcp so what we will do we will uh, open one more file configuration file that is pg hba config okay just edit this one uh, come to down then you will be finding here the localhost what you have to do is you have to come here and you have to go to ipv do you see here ipv okay 4 so here you have to uh, remove your localhost ip you have to mention 0 0 0 0 <laughs> then you have to insert 0 here okay and you have to make authentication as md5 okay you just you have to type md5 which is mentioned here in our document also right md5 okay this done is done and you have edited uh, ip of ip4 then what you have to do uh, you have to edit ip6 uh, connections too okay just you have to come here ipv6 go here uh, take uh, delete you have to insert 0 then you have to come here you have to go back and you have to keep 0 0 okay and the authentication the same we will follow uh, md5 md5 then you have to press ctrl c and y sorry ctrl x and y this file is edited let me check it out is it or not so we can have the current details okay it's fine so ctrl x to exit now what we have done we have done both the instance so what we will do now we will go and we will start our service the start service command is uh, sudo is restarted now okay fine this is done so what we will do we will check uh, on which port number does our service is working postgres server is listening okay so it may ask me to install some of the tool so I'll be copying and I will installing here. The package is installed. So let me check with this one. So showing is done. So it's mentioning that it's working. It's, it's accessible through 5432. Okay, it's listening. If you just scroll here, if you use this command, you'll be seeing that uh, postgres is 5432. It's listening on the 45432. Okay. So this is done. One task is done. So now what we will do, we have to go into oh, EC2 and enable the firewall. So I'll be clicking here. <clears throat> then go security group. I'll click on the security group. No. I will be opening in one separate terminal, the reason. Okay. Just click on the security group. Uh, edit inbound rule. Uh, add the rule as Postgres SQL. Uh, from IP4 anywhere just save it fine now what I will do I will uh, copy my public IP okay public IP then uh, uh, public IP is done then what you have to do is uh, you have to come to the page of PG admin this is a client application PG admin to access uh, Postgres SQL database from your laptop there is a uh, you can install either on the uh, Windows or on the containerization or mac os system python ubuntu you have ubuntu os system you can install on this for us case we will be installing from uh, windows if you click download it will be downloaded this version then you have to go for configuration and everything then you will be coming to this page if you're coming to this page uh, then 
you have to add a new server okay here you have to make test db you can give name any name as per your requirement then you have to click on the connection then you have to paste your ip of your server okay ec2 instance now what we have made user user as a creator postgres we have created right now if you go for the sister uh, if you check the document there is mentioned that postgres is a user and the password also we have mentioned uh, postgres so let me connect with this so say we can connect it the database which we have accessing now is test the db okay fine now you can create your uh, table chart you can put all your in, uh, data uh, directly to here and you can access as per your requirement uh, so now what the steps what we have done is uh, we have uh, installed uh, we have installed let me just show you what we have done is we have installed a postgres sql on ac2 okay aws ac2 and pg admin on our laptop or on our local host and we are accessing through that okay the steps so all be followed up first we have gone to the official website of postgres from there we have copied the commands given from there then we installed then we check the status is up and running then we created one uh, user uh, as a postgres okay and we created a password for that uh, with this, that is also postgres okay user and password this is a postgres user and the password also is postgres okay so we try to uh, change the configuration file so it can be accessed globally so we did what we did first we opened the file uh, postgres.config file then we opened uh, heba uh, postgres pg hba.config file we did some of the configuration in that we restarted our servers then we have to enable the port of this uh, through ap pg D, pg admin we access our database this is the basic uh, uh, steps to be followed and when you completed your uh, your uh, your installation please uh, don't forget to delete your instance try to install multiple time and this if you are moving to my channel then you'll find all the details like uh, you, we are running aws series a cloud series complete cloud series and we are running a jenkins series and we are running a one more series with the web servers so this you can scroll and you can just scroll and search please don't forget to subscribe and share with all your friends and uh, thank you for connecting uh, as we will connecting for the next episode as soon as possible thank you very much guys